Hey guys, for welcome back to the live game commentary. Today we're playing some Jovan in the old Jingle Jangle season ten. Jovan, I think he's pretty decent. He's a very strong ganking jungler. If you like to play an aggressive style, then Jarvan is probably a yeah boy. There are lots of aggressive junglers that you can play, obviously. But you can't go wrong with Jarvan. Jarvan is really, really solid and probably, you know, generally one of the strongest pure ganking junglers in the game. Uh, Elise is another really good one, too. Jarvan right now in the meta, also pretty strong at taking Dragon. A bit better than you might think. Ooh, that's cheeky. So... All in, fucking hell. all in all, not a bad <laughs> choice to play. So, we're going to play him today, show you how to play him, all that lovely business. We are in mid-D2 right now. We were in our D1 promos today, but we had some unlucky games. But shit happens. Here are the three of the runes, guys. We've got our Conqueror. We have Triumph. We have Attack Speed, because we're going to go Merch Reds this game. So, we can just go for Attack Speed. Sometimes, if I want Ninja Tabby, but I still want a bit of Tenacity, I take the Tenacity runes and then just buy Ninja Tabby. I could go out and secondary, we have Magical Footwear, free shoes, basically getting 300 gold for free, and some CDR, and then Attack Speed, AD, and Armor in our rune stats. So we want to look to gank this bot lane here, Zara especially is quite vulnerable, she has no escape. Hello dickhead. Right, we have Conqueror, which makes fighting someone like uh, this Nunu a little bit easier for us. We also have, more importantly, mid prior. what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> so when I say more importantly we have mid prio, <laughs> I just mean that mid lane is going to come and help us before, like our mid lane is going to help us before their mid lane is going to help, which is great. And there you have it. So a good early game aggression. Jarvan loves doing that shit. Alright, here we go. We spam on our way ping. We want our team to know that we are on our way. Better focus this Ez, because he's going to beat the shit out of my, out of my bot lane. But honestly, that wasn't great, actually. <laughs> I mean. Ooh, it's a good thing I didn't cue that bad boy. Yeah, that wasn't ideal. I mean, honestly, the really unlucky thing about that play was that uh, they leveled up to three right as I engaged. So my bot lane is level two, and their bot lane is level three. And that's a pretty big difference, having, like, it's a huge difference. Level one, level two, level three. Is, is, is a huge discrepancy if you have that advantage over your opponents because you unlock an extra ability. Like, if you're level 2, you have 2 abilities, and if you're level 3, you have 3. Like, that's huge. If you're level 1, you have 1. If you have 2, you have 2. I mean, you get the idea. I'm not, it's not rocket science. But it is actually a really, really big difference if you do take that. Uh, if, if you do get the uh, the level 2 advantage, it's, it's well, the level advantage is really huge early game. So we are going to pick up some components here. Red Smite I like to do on Jarvan because you're pretty ball to the wall. You jump in, you slam, you dunk. And then you Red Smite people and you don't instantly die, which helps. Also is good versus tanky targets. I'm against Nunu this game, Nautilus too. So it'll just help me a little bit deal some more damage versus them. You can see my Conqueror's already got crazy value. And that was pretty much just from that, that Nunu fight uh, in the jungle. Um, but also what I like to do on Jarvan. Now this is something that... It's just a, it's it's a very me thing. Like it's what I like to do. It's what I found success with. Is I like to play Jarvan uh, as well. I like to go Cinder Hulk plus Black Cleaver. So the reason why I like that build is because it still gives you a lot of damage for the like early games. So you can still have high impact in your ganks and stuff like that. But it does mean that you transition into a really like solid mid game build where you still have like quite a lot of tankiness so that you can go quite aggressive with your engages and I think that Cinder Holt really helps with that. It also opens up some different itemization if you decide to go for like stone plate later on if you want to as well just like go full like engage. Uh, that's not really possible without uh, Cinder Holt because stone plate you know is really shit if you don't have health. Now we want to go for this dragon here but I also want to get level 5 but there it is. We're going to go for it right now. This is quite a big dragon to take. <clears throat> yeah. And in Season 10, it's just a big deal in general. Just going for dragon plays. So you always want to bring like a control ward or your sweeper or something. You just want to get rid of that vision before you go for it. 
so Nunu is a bit of a dick because he can consume the dragon and steal it. But I have swept it. They, I mean, they should know I'm on this, but they obviously don't really, can't really do to Oh shit, there he is. Fuck, there it is. Well, you know what? In my defense, I did ping assist me and I didn't get an assist. So I'm going to blame my team for that one. Nice. Don't kill me! Oh, honey fruit. Nice. Ah, oh, bollocks. He's got me. He's got me. He's got me. He's got me. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm out of it. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Good shit. Yo, that was... I don't I don't know why I did that. I walked up to him, pressed W to slow him to try and save Morgana. If he had ult, I was dead. Big dead right there. That was the big rip. Uh oh, I'm dead. Conqueror? Nope, I'm just trolling. I'm just trolling. I'm heal one second. Ah, uh! <sighs> that's painful. Okay, you know what? That was too much. I thought maybe I was jump going in there and getting like the uh, the Vigar or something, but no, that was just too much. Chill out, Foxy, mate. Chill out, Foxy. Calm down. Okay, we good. We good. All right, we lost that dragon. Honestly, like. I mean, I was pretty close to getting it, but you're not really going to get a dragon away from a Nunu when you can consume Smite it. If you do steal dragon from, like, Cho'Gath or Nunu, then you are a god with a massive, big, whopping penis. But sadly, I am just a little chode, so I ain't getting that shit. Yeah, I mean, I should, like, ask my team for a bit more help or something like that. Like, if, if I have some help so that they can uh, burst it down with me or, like, peel a little bit, then that's great. But ultimately, it's my mistake to do that, right? Like, I'm kind of just, I'm I'm betting on the on the enemy team doing something dumb, you know? Like, I'm, I'm betting on the Nunu misplaying, and I think, I think you can't really rely on that. I I don't think you should necessarily shy away from all plays that rely on the enemy team being dumb, but depending how you know, <laughs> if it's if it comes down to something like trying to bloody <laughs> take take a dragon away from a Nunu. Yeah, maybe that's just a bit too much. Um, my Valkyrie is absolutely wrecking this mid lane here. And he's almost got this tower too. This Nunu. So what I want to do is I want to position in such a way that I can protect him. So that if Nunu or someone, whatever, comes to try and you know, well, stop him from doing this, then I can just be around and I can counter the gank. And I can help him out because that is important. Why don't I just kill this guy? Oh, okay. There's Nunu. Maybe we should go up here actually instead. Ready. Gotta wait. Nice. Probably could have actually let him out of my ult there. Oh, he auto attacked Velkos. Unlucky. Does my ultimate. No. I thought my ult maybe. You know what? This is not. Oh, yeah. Vel... Mm, Vyga doesn't care. Nice. Does he not? I, don't th I genuinely don't think he cares. I'm not sure. Something interrupted that. Uh, Nunu ulti there. I didn't see what it was. I know when you ult someone as uh, Camille, which is kind of a similar mechanic to Java ult to an extent, it briefly silences them. So if they are channeling like that Nunu ulti, it would interrupt the channel. But I don't think Java ult does that. I don't think it does that. But hey. Okay, so the build that I was talking about where I like to go for the Cinder Hulk Black Cleaver. We, you can get Cleaver first if you want to as well, but, you know, getting that Cinder Hulk first is fine too. Um, I'm going to go for this Cleaver next, which is what this Kindle Gem is going into. I do quite like having Kindle Gem. That 10% CDR is quite nice. If you can afford Phage, then, you know, that's where it's at. But Kindle Gem is so cheap. It's like 450 gold cheaper than, than Phage. So, you know... A lot of the times, that's just that's all you need. Just uh, as a little bit of a shout out, guys. If you do enjoy this video, you can go and give me a, a follow on the Instagram, on the Facebook, on the Twitteronies. Yes, you have to say the before you uh, you list them. Else, it's just not the same. You can find the links to them in the description, or you can just use the Google and type in Foxtrot Plus or whatever social media you want to find me on, and you'll find me there. Ah, bollocks. So I really, really, really wanted to go for a Herald play. Not Herald, yeah, Herald. 
Nice. We can get it here. So, Herald. Boop. Nunu is around. We do know he was around bot side. There he is. He's mid right now. Ah, Valkos, mate. Blue suede shoes, baby. Let's get some plates here. The first Herald, I put quite a decent priority on. Oh, shit. Hello. I think the first Herald is quite nice to take because you can get plates with it. And it's, and it's, yeah, it's pretty good. But I think the second Herald that spawns is has a lower priority. Because I would argue that the second Herald, you know, you can't get plates anymore. And it's just a little bit weak as well. Like, it doesn't last very long. What is he doing? So, yeah, I don't really care too much about that one. But definitely, if you are looking for... A Herald play, that first one, is a good idea to go for. Oh, bollocks. Wait, am I good here? I'm good here, right? Here comes Ash. Which is kind of far. Can we do this? Okay, I feel like, I feel like I'm rolling the dice a little bit again. Oh, bollocks, he's gone in. Oh, gosh, he's gone in. Get me assists. You walk past my flag, right? So I get an assist. Oh, wait. It doesn't work if you die. Come on, man. Don't be selfish. Get me an assist. Alright, did Nunu die? Nunu did not die. If I jump over this wall and try and go for his red buff, that's pretty inty. Can I do it, though? No. Don't do it. It's dumb. I'm doing it. This is terrible. This is a terrible play. It's absolutely a terrible play. This is a terrible, terrible play. This is a terrible play. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Wait. So why are you doing this? Like, you're actually trolling. Like, you're genuinely trolling. This is a terrible play. This is actually a terrible play. <laughs> okay, in my defense, I did call it. I did call that was going to be a terrible play. In my defense. You know what's actually kind of funny about that play, though? <laughs> is that I genuinely almost got away with it and I actually think that if I hadn't bottled it I would have got away with it I would have got away with it too I genuinely think I would have got away with it like I don't like Nunu didn't seem to even like he didn't seem to care I don't know I don't know what was up with that but I just panicked I just panicked I don't know that's okay we don't we did that we, we, we just uh, have it's just a happy it's just a happy play uh, this guy's hanging back, which means he's going to run away. So maybe I can catch him on the recall, getting greedy here. Right, there he is. On the recall. Getting a little bit greedy. Not massively greedy, but greedy enough. Don't know if I needed to ult him there. But uh, I'm going to chuck it down anyway, because he was about to stun me. I don't have tenacity either, so he could maybe just run away from me. And that would kind of suck. So... We'll just throw the ult down. It's whatever. It's not a huge cooldown. Nocturne has no TP and he just died. So this means his top lane is up for grabs. Uh, so we are going to run to this top side. Hopefully Nautilus goes for a plate here with his demolish. I don't know if he even has demolish. But hopefully he does and he goes for a plate. Oh, recall. Is this what it? It's fine. Uses his flash. Red Smite is really good versus uh, versus tanks. Honestly, you'd be surprised how hard tanks are to kill. <laughs> Especially when you're playing jungle. But Red Smite makes a lot of difference. We're also going to be pushing out that top lane because Nocturne is going to be roaming bot. Nocturne as a champion does want to roam a decent amount because he's got his ultimate. It's a really good ganking tool. Similar thing if I had like a Quinn or a Pantheon top or something like that. You can just push out minion waves that they're going to, you know, they're going to miss. I actually think as a jungler as well, it's a really important thing to do. Like you, you don't really want to just leave minion waves. Like I'm going to go back top right now. Because I think if I, if you just leave, if you just leave minion waves, it's golden experience that you're, you're not getting and it's kind of, kind of lame. So, again, this is one and a half minion waves. I maybe could have honestly just stayed top lane. 
But I guess that's kind of hindsight because Nautilus ran mid. I didn't know he was going to run mid. Oh, there's our guys teleport. So we get a lot of farm there, which is cool. But also, we uh, bonus TP. So I don't think he would have TP'd if I wasn't there. I don't think Vygar knows we're here. I think he's genuinely going to keep pushing top. Should we go for Herald here? Oh, there's new new. Is he level 11? He is. What a dickhead. Okay. Nocturne has no ulti. Hmm. No! Oh, you knob. Okay. Dragon spawns in one minute. So, we recall. We've got a lot of gold here. And we want to start playing around bot side. Because we obviously want to get into a play where we can go for this dragon. Like, you don't really want to spend too much time topside, I don't think, right now. Like, in in this meta, in the preseason and stuff. Like, it's just not really worth it. Like, even if we kill Vygar there, it's cool. He gets me some gold, so it's nice. But if I got a kill in the bot side, then I'm, I'm improving the strength of my the bot side of the map. Which is really good, because then that makes taking future dragons easier. Even if... Even if you know, they're not dead. Even if, even if like, Ez or Zara would respawn by the time Dragon spawns, we're still getting a stronger bot lane, right? There's two top sides. That is warded right there. We're going to put... Do I want to put that down? She don't want to put that down. Bell shield. Nice. There he is. Alright, we're going for this ward here. First things first, we just want to get them away from the dragon. Hmm. This actually, I don't think, is going to be very good for us. If I stay on the dragon here... Yeah, I don't think we get this one. <laughs> it's Honestly, it's impossible. Like, we just fucked that up. Look at my high APM plays. Like, there's no real way to get that, but I think that's worth it, like... They forced us to... Well, we, we forced them to come to us. Yeah, they get the dragon, but we ace them for it. I think that's okay. I don't... I think... I the, So, the first one, the Infernal, was bad, but I think that one's worth it. They're really dedicated to that, and they, you know. Alright, so after we have this uh, Cinderhawk Cleaver build, we want to go into Sterex or Guardian Angel. Basically, just anything that lets us play aggressive, lets us jump in. Which one do I want to go for? I don't know. Uh... I think if you're fed, then Garden Angel is better. But if you're not fed, then Sterex is good too. He's actually indestructible. Nice one, bro. I saw that. So I think I'll just go Sterex. I mean, I'm I'm kind of strong. Like I'm not. I'm definitely not weak by any means. But I feel like GA is better if you really want to stay alive for some reason. I mean, well, dying in general is not great, but. Oh, you're not getting out of that one, dickhead. That was close. I nearly locked, no I nearly locked Nocturne out of that one. Can he actually take damage? I have Black Cleaver. I have Conqueror. Take damage, please. Please. I'm asking nicely. I am asking nicely. Dude, I have 600 Conqueror damage already this game. Well, I'm dead. Okay. I feel like I shouldn't have listened to those pings. Maybe those pings were, n were a bit of a bait. Maybe I shouldn't have listened to that. <clears throat> Does he kill him here? Bloody hell. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. That's still my, my mistake, though. I think it, it's quite a... It's, it's, it's quite easy just to, you know, if, if you feel like you got baited or you feel like you follow someone else's play and it didn't go well, you can be like, oh shit, well, screw you. Like, it's, it feels easier to blame other people for that. But, I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, I'm the one who went in. I'm the one who went for that play and I should have used my brain a bit more. 
but I think honestly sometimes that just happens right like people people call you to go for a certain play doesn't work out but other times they call you and it does work out like yeah you should pay a bit more attention but it just happens you know it's just one of those things not worth getting your knickers in a twist about it all right so my team is dying do I want to help them here uh, Melkos is coming as well. Okay, so I was gonna also opt into going top lane here and just split push a little bit. But, oh god, this is gonna be fucking awful. I'm gonna do it, but it's still gonna be awful. I really need to stop going with these plays. Okay, can I mute Melkos <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this because it's his fault. I'm doing this because I obviously cannot be trusted. I obviously cannot be trusted to go for these plays, to listen to his pings. Like, quite clearly. I mean, it is my bad. Oh shit, you're a mountain dragon, baby, let's go! Oh. He has an ult, right? Yeah. Dude, they are so low. Can we just, can this Ash just turn into an Ezreal for a second here? And just fucking true shot barrage them? Uh, are they gonna get that? They actually are gonna get that, aren't they? Okay. Well. We kind of trolled that a little bit. Alright, Foxy mate, focus up. They're gonna go for dragon here, so we play for the dragon. We'll get this dragon. Mm. Dragon is the priority here. Ash can take it by herself, right? Oh, she's doing crap. Okay. Nunu's going to fucking... Why did we start it? We got it. Bloody hell. How did we get that one? We lose all of the ones that I'm there to try and secure. And we get one where we don't have smite. I think this was the right way to play it. We just didn't want to start dragon. Like, we, we go for this engage, we, and this is a good engage for us. But it gets bad when we... Then start, like... We kind of open up Nunu to just take in the dragon. Okay, I generally think I have kind of thrown this game by with, with my engages. <clears throat> I've well, th this engage was good. This game, this engage was fine. This is the right thing to do. But I mean, twice when I went in here and then when I went in mid lane, there was just bad engages. But I, I, I think honestly, muting this guy's pings will help. Again, it's not his fault, but I'm just I'm just blindly following them and I die every single time. And that's bad. So if I can't trust myself, then <laughs> hey. Alright, I got Starx now. I think I can kill Viger. I mean I don't know. Nah, he's he's not gonna stay there. Starx. Uh, we'll go GA next. And then maybe stone play. Maybe we'll just do stone play actually, I don't know. Either one works. Uh, stone plate is fine. We have a lot of health for it as well. We basically just want to be able to engage and not instantly die. So both of them, both of them achieve that shit. Okay, that's good. I'm coming in. I'll die, but it's fine. It's totally fine. Is it fine? No, it's not. How do we lose that still? I thought we would actually destroy that fight. Generally thought we'd wreck that fight. Nice. Ooh. Ez. That was a bit too much. Nice. Good shit. Nice. He did. Did he? What did he do there to heal? Did he? Sm Wait, he didn't smite something. What did he eat? Okay, 
I honestly thought that would be better for us. And you, you, I take a shit ton of time. I'm just gonna go for stopwatch next. Alright, so I guess I need to be a little bit more chill. We get stopwatch, and then I can do that kind of play, and it's fine. You can see why I'm, I'm hesitant to go for the uh, war enchant build, though. Like, yeah, you get more damage, but bloody hell, if I had war enchant this game, I mean, I'm dying. I'm, I'm getting wrecked this game as it is. Imagine if I didn't have Cinderhawk. This is going to be like almost 500 health. Alright, now I've just been running it down and I've not been farming. So, we farm. We farm. It's more important if you're playing a carry jungler to, to farm. But it's still important no matter who you're playing because levels are really important. Like one level is worth about a thousand gold. So, you don't want to fall behind in levels. Can we please just be... I'm keeping my eyes peeled on the map here. I don't want to die. Please just... Oh my goodness. I'm so nervous right now. I mean, this could work. But I'm still extremely nervous. Alright, we've got our stopwatch. Wait, Zyra's butt? Split push, baby. That's what it's all about. Okay, good. That did work for us. Alright, now I can engage. Like uh, I did before. Hopefully, I don't die doing it. Ooh, yeah, I read that one. I read that one like a book. What is he doing, though? Oh, oh Morg, mate. That was pretty cheeky. Once his cage is down, he's so vulnerable. Okay. No, I don't want to... If I do this shit... Ugh, bastard. That was mine. If I do that shit, I'm going to be in trouble. 30 seconds on Dragon here. Now, if Vigar doesn't have TP, maybe we can rush it? Maybe. But honestly, we probably can't. So, Nocturne is in spawn. We really want to try and take this here. Please be careful. Oh, God. That's fine. Yep, dewarding. This is good. This is good. Now, I'm going to put... I should really have two wards here. Because I kind of want to put a ward behind us for the flank. Just in case. Can I actually run in and flank myself? There's Nunu. Okay, so we can't go for the flank then. It's a decent pull out actually. That's what she said. Oh my god. Nunu's dead. Alright, my focus there was really on the dragon. Because third dragon gives us... Whoops. Third dragon gives us... Well, we each had two, right? And in a best of seven, taking... If, if you're drawn at two, taking game five is huge. Because now we're one within Dragon Soul, which is massive. So it puts a huge amount of pressure on the enemy team right now to have to like contest the next dragon or they just lose. Uh, you know what, boys? I'm feeling the call, but the spirit is willing, but the body is a little bit hesitant. When I say hesitant, I just mean... You know, I'm literally going to die. Wait, nah, let's get that. Let's get it. Let's get a BF sword. Yes. Yes. Cheeky. Legendary. Legendary. I get an assist because I use my flag on the Baron. So, J Javan is an assist king. It's why getting this triumph is actually nutty. I got 560 bonus gold from triumph this game. Because you get extra gold from takedowns, right? So, kills and assists. Ooh! Okay. You can spell shield one, but you can't spell shield two, buddy. That's a bit too much. Wow, this Ez is actually huge. Why did... Okay. We've got our GA now. So again, I can just go proper Rambo here and it's all Gucci. It's all Gucci. I'm actually going to wait like 20 gold here and get two control wards. Control wards are really important. The later, later on in the game you go, I think the more important control wards get. Is that true? I don't know. I think that's true. 
but basically being able to deny vision, setting up traps and stuff like that, where you can move as a five-man unit, you're not in the lane phase. Difference between life and death, victory and defeat, failure and success. Something like that. It's a good old sighty whitey vision sticks here. We'll get the red ones. Well, the pink ones, as they used to be called. Good old pink wards. You know, I was talking to a... Oh, gosh. You know what? I'm going to pause. Hold that thought. Okay, am I baiting my team here by focusing Zyra? Fuck it! Alright, you hear that sound? That's the sound of Black Cleaver, baby. You want some of this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Am I good? Oh, sorry, Nocturne. Oh, look at that shit. He uses his flag for the second time. I'm actually smurfing, and he knocks up the Q. Giga smurf. Giga smurf Jarvan play right there. Disgusting. When you have a decent amount of CDR, well, I've only got 25%, I guess. But when you have a decent amount of CDR, you can. Uh oh. Hooey! I'm good. You can put your flag down, and it lasts for how long does it last for? Eight seconds. And your Q has a 4.5 second cooldown. Max rank 25%, whatever. Your Q has a lower cooldown than your flag, so you can use your flag twice, which is what I was able to do there. Alright. Um, do I want to go for Stone Plate last item? Honestly, yes. Uh, some good alternatives here. You could get a little bit more damage if you wanted to. Edge of Night, I actually think it's pretty solid. I could do Edge of Night as well. But there's a lot of armor on that team. I probably don't want to do that. Well, no. So the Edge of Night is good because of the spell shield. It's like having a Banshee. It's, it's pretty nice. But I think the tank you are, the less you need the spell shield. If you're squishy, then sure. Honestly, an anything can sort of work. But at this point, either go for... In my, my recommendation is to go for a tank item at this point. Because if you get to the late game when you're buying your sixth item... Then there's a well, if you get to the point where you're buying your sixth item, there's a good chance you're at the late game. And if you're at the late game on Jarvan, then you're most useful as an engaged tool. So you want to jump in, you want to go a bit crazy, and so being tanky it helps you with that. Now, you can always peep the enemy team and see, yo, what do I need? What can I buy? What will be useful versus them? For example, this game, uh, adaptive cloak is or adaptive helm, sorry, is really nice because it's going to help versus Nunu's E, Zyra's plants. Oh shit, my dragon's coming up. Uh, Nautilus E and stuff like that. And they also just have a lot of magic resist in general. But for me, I want to get Stone Plate. Okay, if they go into this choke point here against Velkos, this is bad for them. Surprise, motherfucker. I got Jay, baby. Try and take me down. Try and take me down. Why is it? As soon as I... I didn't have J, and I was just dying left, right, and center. Okay, never mind. I jinxed myself. I was gonna say, but I just, I was just, I was just so squishy when I had J. Sorry, when I didn't have J, I was just dying. But now that I do have J, I just can't die in these team fights. All right, there's our dragon soul. That's gonna be the game as well. Beautiful stuff. We're going to run it down mid lane, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be game. So, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me that cheeky thumbs up. You can subscribe to me for more Legan's content and flick that bell to get the notifications of when I go live. Apologize for some of the interesting plays we had, some of the happy plays in today's game. But still, hopefully you don't know how to play some Java, and you had some fun watching. And most importantly... Well, actually, the most important thing is that you had fun watching, but I can't say that now. Most importantly, you realize that by subscribing and liking the video, you have a big penis. I'm going to honor Velkoz. Good old Azap. Good old Azap. I found out we did a lot of damage that game. Well... Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, whatever. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Ooh, 78 LP. I'm too away from Prems again. Ooh. I love you all. Have a fantastic evening. I'll see you in my next video.